In this section, we will cover how to create interactive visualizations using QuickSight with charts, tables, stories, and dashboard. In this specific video, we'll review how to create our first analysis and manage it using QuickSight. Here are the key steps to get to different visualizations in QuickSight. First, to work with data, we need to create QuickSight datasets, which typically includes one or more tables, files from various sources. Optionally, if the dataset needs some cleanup or let's say format changes, we can prepare the data using QuickSight Spice Engine, which we've seen earlier. Next, we get into what we call analysis. An analysis can be thought like a container for all related set of visuals and stories. You can add multiple datasets to a single analysis. However, one visual can only have one dataset. Within each analysis, we can create one or more visualizations. A visualization can be thought like a graphical representation of the data, which is like a chart. Next, you can optionally build stories and scenes. A story is essentially a multiple iterations of the same analysis replayed as scenes. For example, sales by region could be north, south, east, west, and each of those can be part of a story. Next, you can create read-only snapshots of an analysis called dashboards. These dashboards preserve parameters, filters, and will show the latest data for that condition. This now explains how we can go from datasets to the various ways to visualize data in QuickSight. Now, some limits to keep in mind. One single analysis can have up to 20 datasets and up to 20 different visuals. Now, let's see how to build these analyses using a live example. So first, we need to navigate to the list of datasets. Then, in this example, I'm going to use USA Census Joint Dataset. Now, once you click on the data set, you'll get the option to create analysis. Click on that. This creates our analysis. Now let's add visuals to it. The first visual that I pick, which is most common, is the vertical bar chart. Now, need to select the X and Y axis. I've used state at the X axis mean income as the value, and aggregation option as average. To make it interesting, I'm going to use median income on top of it. So this shows me which states have medium and min income in descending order. I can add additional visualization to it. Click on Add, Add Visual. And for this one, I'm going to use the map. And I'm going to use state as the geospatial component. Population count for the size. This shows me different states and the size of those bubbles are based on the size of the population. This completes our analysis, and this is automatically saved as the autosave is on. I can rename the chart analysis here as well. Next, here are some additional tips on analysis. I can add a title and description that makes it easy to understand. How to do that? Under the Add option, click on Add Title then add description. In this example, I've set the title as USA Census Insights, and the description is right below the title. 